Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma or Emily, who's to say, and today we are going to be talking about the reading rush. So I posted a TBR video for the Immortals and Monsters or Merge readathon that is currently going on in July. However, I completely forgot that the reading rush was a thing and so instead of waiting to actually hear what the prompts were before posting that video, I just posted it. Big brain. So I'm gonna go over my TBR and then I also have some other announcements so stay tuned till the end of the video for that and let's just get started. The first one is read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. Now I was born in December and it kind of depends on who you ask but I think blue zircon, light blue topaz, blue topaz, turquoise, like it's all kind of just a bunch of different blues basically works. And for this I'm going to be reading Someone's Story by B.A. Bellick. There is a lot of purple like in the center but it's pretty blue around the outside so I'm working with it. This follows the story of someone and the narrator calls themselves someone. Um, and it's just they're kind of telling their own story and I think they have some mental health issues that they're dealing with and that's what a lot of the novel focuses on I believe and yeah I think it also follows like a group of friends so maybe it'll have like found family or something I don't know but I'm here for it yeah I don't know too much about it but I I honestly don't like knowing a ton about books before I go into them. This book is also on Kindle Unlimited, so if you have that, then you can get it there, which is pretty cool, and I'm going to be reading it on my iPad. The next prompt is to read a book that starts with the word the, and for this I'm going to be reading The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. This is a pretty short book, and so I figured it would be good for the reading rush. I mean, it is, um, dense as far as the text goes, um, but that's okay. This is also going to count for read a book in a genre that you want to read more of. I want to read more classics. I've read some classics that I've really loved and I've read some classics that I really haven't so I just want to become more well-rounded in them and this seems like a good place to continue on that journey. The next one is read a book that inspired a movie that you've already seen and I'm kind of like twisting this a little bit. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to go with a TV show instead and these episodes are pretty long. I think they're around an hour and a half each, something like that. So they're like short movies and that is the BBC Sherlock Holmes series. I have watched all of them but that was like forever ago and I'm restarting watching them now and I think I'm on like episode two of season one. <laughs> but for this I'm going to be reading one of the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes stories and that is A Scandal in Bohemia. Um, and the TV show companion for this is A Scandal in Belgravia, which I've seen in the past, but I literally couldn't tell you which one that was about, so <laughs> I'm excited because I still don't really know what happens in this one. I might figure it out, like, once I recognize the characters and stuff, but I'm sure it's still kind of different from the show so yeah and I'm also going to be using that for read a book outside of your house I'm very lucky to have a deck and um, I'm going to be reading out on that and I chose the shortest thing I have possible for that because while the weather is really nice out um, it also can get really hot so sitting outside for hours is just not ideal <laughs> it also weirdly enough like like, it's super sunny, but for some reason I keep feeling like a storm is coming. Um, and I don't know why. A storm is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> the next prompt is to read the first book you touch. I did this in, um, a way. <laughs> I picked out, like, four or five books. I laid them in a circle around me. I closed my eyes, I spun around, and then I sat down and then I reached for a book. And I landed on Uprooted by <laughs> Naomi Novik. Um, Leonie from the book Leo really likes this book. And I bought it, I think, shortly after one of her videos talking about it came out because the concept just seems really interesting. It follows a girl and it... I'm thinking her name is pronounced Agnieszka, um, but it kind of just depends on, like, the linguistic influence this book has. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense because, like, if you've read Six of Crows or... Uh, the Grisha trilogy, something like that. It seems like it has some sort of Russian influences. Um, maybe I'm getting that wrong, but that's what I think of. 
and this one seems like maybe sort of Russian, but I get more of like German or Polish sort of influences from it. And Agnieszka would be how you pronounce that. So <laughs> that's what I'm going with. Um, it's also really hard in fantasy novels because a lot of them are inspired by real places or real languages, but you can't like say that for sure because they're fantasy <laughs> and they're in made up lands. So it's like, you know, <laughs> it's hard to do that, solidify that theory, but I'm going to pronounce it Agnieszka. That was a really long explanation for no reason. Um, but <laughs> Agnieszka lives in a village and there's this king that they call the dragon, I believe, and every 10 years he comes and takes a girl for purposes. Um, <laughs> and Agnieszka thinks that it's going to be Cassia. I think everyone in the village thinks it's going to be Cassia because she is like the most pretty girl in the village and blah 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 blah. But then when the dragon comes, he doesn't take Cassia. Guess who he takes? Guess. Um, yeah, and so this is just interesting, <laughs> um, and I'm really excited to read this. It seems like a really interesting concept, and I like the title of the book because she's uprooted from her village, and so you get it? <laughs> I think it's funny. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I'm wondering if this is also based off of some sort of retelling, because the next book is called Spinning Silver, I believe which is like Rumpelstiltskin-esque, but um, gold, not silver. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna guess because I feel like I'm gonna get it wrong, so we're just... I feel like I should Google at some point what the inspiration, like, linguistically for this novel was. Let's do that now, because I'm a curious cat, and I will totally forget if I wait until after this video. Okay, the book, Owing to the author's mother being Polish contains a number of references to Polish culture, including the protagonist whose name references a story Agnieszka Skrawek? Neba? Agnieszka Piece of Sky. Hmm. So I was right! <laughs> That's pretty cool! The last one is to read a book that takes place on a different continent from which the one that you live in. I feel like I worded that way more complicated than I needed to, but you get me, right? <laughs> For this, I'm going to be reading Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibber, and I'm going to be reading this as part of a read-along that takes place throughout the entire week of the reading rush, so the 20th to through the 26th. A lot of people are participating in this readathon, and I will link all of their channels below. And four of us are going to be participating in the live show. The live show takes place on July 26th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm really excited to read this book. I know a lot of people who don't even like romance very much enjoyed this book a lot. It would be really cool if you guys could join us if you want to. If you've already read Get a Life, Chloe Brown, you can totally join us. And you also don't have to read Get a Life, Chloe Brown for the reading rush if you want to participate. As long as you read it sometime before June 26th, you're solid. If you finish it an hour before 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you're golden. The other announcement I want to talk about is for the One of Us is Lying live show. One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus is the group book for the Mortals and Monsters or Merch readathon. So the live show we decided will take place on August 2nd, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have read or want to read One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, um, and want to join us for the live show, that'd be really cool. I hope you guys can make it to both of those live shows. It would be really cool to interact with you guys there and just talk about books like normal. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching today and let me know if you are able to read any of the books for the live shows and if you want to join. I would be really excited to see you there. And if you are reading any of the same books for the Reading Rush or just this month in general, um, let me know down in the comments below and maybe we can chat about it after. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.